Well, um, I've done a couple toe-ups as well, but this guy next to me has done uh, a couple more than I uh, did. I think he did like 260 meters, 70? I did 240. 240, it was 242. massive. So for him, this is like a walk in the park. But still, I'm sure it, it, it gives uh, Jesse a bit of an adrenaline rush. It, it definitely gives me one. But it's always good, you know, we can give the people a show when there's no wind. We want to push the big air extreme sides of the sport because it's really fun, it's exciting to watch. and toe-ups aren't really traditional and they're not something that you would normally do but on a day like today it's really the only thing that you're going to be doing with a kite kind of explore the possibilities of what happens when you tow yourself up to 20 to 40 meters and let go and fly down really the the biggest difference between normal kiting and doing a toe-up is that the wind direction no longer matters because you're falling faster than the winds pushing you so it's like the wind's going straight up and you're circling your kite around you. All your axes are off, everything's different. So it's a whole nother experience that if you're not really skilled with your kite, you could find yourself falling out of the sky from a pretty decent height and yep. potentially hurting yourself or hurting somebody else if you're doing it wrong. So don't try it at home. Definitely, definitely yeah, it's, it's definitely risky, you know, you can, if you see everyone go up, it looks super easy, you know, like Jesse had a pretty good technique, he just, has his hands on the bar, hot launches his kite, and bam, he's off. And before you know it, you know, you're 30, 40 meters up in the air. But uh, yeah, it is dangerous. So I wouldn't recommend uh, people trying this, even though it looks really easy. Yeah, you go to up to a point where the power gets so great because the jet ski is actually going against the wind and creating, increasing the wind speed. And then eventually there's just so much tension on both of your arms that you can sort of feel like, okay, this is the max, you let go of the rope and then it's just dead quiet. And it's sort of, it's cool, but it's sort of scary at the same time as well. Cause you look down, you're like, whoa, I'm like way up. And when it's really windy, you feel a lot of power in your kite. But with doing a toe up, there's like sections where you can just fall down 15 meters and then the kite would just catch you just before you land. And uh, yeah, that rush that you can feel the butterflies in your, in your stomach and that's pretty addicting. That's probably my favorite aspect of it is not only like looking around and doing flips and spins and kite loops, but just seeing the view.